facing the dreaded blue screen of death on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC. Don't worry, you're not alone. In this video, I'm diving deep into how to troubleshoot and fix this issue so you can get your system running smoothly again. If you find this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more practical tech solutions. Let's tackle the blue screen of death, or BSOD. You'll see this error when your PC says, your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart. It usually pops up after a system update, installing incompatible software, or when your PC is overloaded. Knowing why it happens is key to fixing it. All right, let's break down what to do based on whether you can access your desktop or not after encountering the BSOD. If you're able to reach the desktop, start by clicking on the search box located on your taskbar, type in reset this PC, and select it from the suggestions. This action opens up options for a reset, as well as advanced startup options. Here, you'll want to click on Restart Now under Advanced Startup to access various tools that can help resolve deeper issues. If your computer isn't making it to the desktop and you're stuck before you can log in, you'll need to manually trigger a repair process. To do this, press and hold the power button until the PC shuts down. Turn it back on, and as soon as you see the Windows logo, press and hold the power button again to force another shutdown. Repeat this process three times. On the third restart, Windows should enter the advanced startup environment automatically. From there, you can access the troubleshooting and recovery options necessary to fix the blue screen of death. When you're in the command prompt from the advanced startup options, it's important to execute each command correctly to fix your system. Here's how you do it. Start by typing bootrec slash fixmbr and press enter. This command repairs the master boot record, which is crucial for your system to start properly. Once that's done, type bootrec slash fixboot and hit enter again to write a new boot sector on the system partition, which is often necessary if your startup process is corrupted. If your system needs a more thorough fix, type bootsec slash nt60sys and press enter. This updates the boot code to support newer operating systems. Sometimes, it's necessary to run the boot rec slash fix boot command again if the boot issues persist, so type it once more and press enter. Next, to rebuild your boot configurations, type boot rec slash rebuild bcd and press enter. This scans your system for installations and adds them to the boot menu, helping your PC start correctly. For a comprehensive system file check, enter sfc slash scan now and press enter. This command will scan all protected system files and replace corrupted files with a cached copy. It might take some time, so be patient until it's 100% complete. Finally, check your disk for any errors by typing C, H, K, D, S, K, C, and pressing enter. This command checks the disk and automatically fixes errors on the volume, which can prevent your system from booting properly. After you have run all the necessary commands in the command prompt, go ahead and type exit to close the command prompt window. Then, restart your system to let all the changes take effect. This restart will allow your PC to boot up with the repaired configurations and, hopefully, without the blue screen of death. If the previous methods haven't cleared up the blue screen of death, don't worry, there are still a couple of solid recovery options you can try directly from the advanced startup environment. For a system reset, which can often resolve deeper issues, here's what you do. Navigate to Troubleshoot after booting into the advanced startup environment, then choose Reset this PC. You'll get the option to either keep your files or remove everything. Pick the one that best suits your situation and follow the prompts to reinstall Windows. For issues related to starting up, Startup Repair is your go-to. Access this by going back to Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, and selecting Startup Repair. This tool automatically fixes problems that prevent Windows from starting, which could be the root cause of your BSOD. It's a hands-off process, so once you initiate it, let the system do its work and hopefully, your PC will be back to normal soon. And today's video ends here. I hope these steps help you solve the dreaded blue screen of death on your Windows PC. If you've tried these methods, let me know in the comments how it went for you, or if you have any other questions. Your feedback is invaluable and helps everyone in our community find better solutions. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.